change up your lunch routine, uh, we've got a place for you to check out. It's a little French cafe serving up something that might remind you of a burrito or a wrap, but these are something else, something special, and they will fill you up. Our Michelle Oliver is taking us to Dine in the D at La Crepe in Royal Oak. They say Paris is the city of love. Well, when Dennis Williams first walked in here, he fell in love with their crepes. That's what got me here. I was in corporate America, and I came here one time for dinner, fell in love with the food, and said, I want to be a part of this. This is going to be something special. So he became a manager. And when they closed up shop, Dennis reopened it as Le Crepe. What we do is crepes. We put sweet and savory items inside of crepes but it's not your ordinary crepe, it's just we take it a step further. Uh, we did add some new ones and we kept the old favorites and we have, a, we have a full line. And if you're worried these crepes won't fill you up, don't be. For the meat eaters, we have two ribeye steaks, a Washington Avenue, and we also have our ribeye truffle with our mushroom blend, six ounces of ribeye steak, spinach, and our truffle zipper top. You will get full of our restaurant and you will probably leave with a to-go container. Some of their crepes have some interesting names too, like the standby or the obvious. When it was what crepe, they didn't have names for the crepes, they had numbers. And when people would come for the first time, they would order what is now known as the obvious, which is pan seared chicken, caramelized apples, pecans, spinach, and feta. And that was the obvious first choice that everyone got. So when they began to name the crepes, this became the obvious, which is pretty cool. So it seemed obvious we should cook it up. We're gonna start out with our pan seared chicken. What's it marinated in? It looks like it has some nice juices on it. What it's marinated in is we have a masala of poultry season, rotisserie, salt, pepper, oil, and parsley. Then we add in some caramelized apples. Which are caramelized in brown sugar and cinnamon. We toss in some raw pecans, drizzle in the juice from those caramelized apples, and add a splash of balsamic vinegar. While that simmers, we make the crepe. Okay. A full ladle, all right, in the middle. And the way I was taught is you're putting less pressure on the trowel itself. Okay. You just let it spin. That's such a cool move. Then it was my turn. Start with the center, distributing the batter out, and just making it wider as you do. It's like you're painting the wall. It's weird how easy it glides. Now to flip it. And so what's the key to flipping it? Put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. And just flip it over. That's so perfectly golden brown. Once the crepe is done, we top it with spinach, feta, and the sauteed chicken with caramelized apples. Oh, that does smell really good. We want people to smile when they come in and smile even brighter when they leave. We're having a lot of fun in the studio today, and some of the most fun was standing next to Dennis Williams, who's owner of Le Crepe, and watching him go, I'm on TV. I know, I know you you're used that, right? to. That was kind of cool. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. Everything looks it. good. Are you kidding? Thanks for being in here this morning. Absolutely. So what about crepes? What make, made you fall in love with crepes? And that's exactly what happened. I was, I was working for Corporate America, and okay. I went to a restaurant which was formerly called What Crepe. And I had the food, and I said, I got to be a part of this. Really? And so I left my corporate job and became a manager at What Crepe. And through three restaurants and a great opportunity, I became the owner and renamed the Le Crepe. And here we are. Just good stuff. So when you got hooked on crepes, were you hooked on the sweet side or were you hooked on the savory side? Because you brought both. Well, I got hooked on a, it was a ribeye truffle. It was ribeye wow. with mushrooms, a truffle oil on top. And I said, this is going to be something special. All right, so help us out. Give us a little tour down in front. You wanted to start with the dessert crepes. Well, right? life is short, so we eat dessert first. OK. <laughs> okay. So the first thing we have is a nutty monkey. That's this one? Yes, which is our signature crepe with bananas, Nutella, candy pecans, oh, yeah, it is. whipped cream, powdered sugar, and oh, cocoa powder. Beautiful. This is a mixed berry with crushed berries, the berries being strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, with raspberry sauce and whipped cream. That looks amazing. Now, in addition to sweet and savory crepes that we're gonna talk about, we also have appetizers. Okay. This is our vegetarian queso, which is asparagus, mushrooms, and a um, cheese sauce with sriracha. And what we did is we took our regular crepe, cooked into chip form, mm -hmm. and that's what you have there. If I say crepe, does that make me sound like I'm cooler? I'm just trying to impress you. Okay. <laughs> that's all I'm doing. Um, all right. we, have, we have salads. This is our blackened ribeye steak. It has our mixed greens with strawberries, mm. blue cheese. That was for that. That's great. 
onions, and a roasted shallot dressing. Okay. Now, it says on the window that we're also vegan and gluten free. So what I have here is our old Woodward, which has pan sear tofu, tomatoes, onions, avocados, feta, and this crepe right here is vegan and is gluten free. All right, and then am I seeing bacon? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's our. I'm sorry, here he what? comes. What Watch out! It's a drive-by. <laughs> That's our Le Club. Bacon, what we did. It's the Le Club with oh, bacon. Club. Look, Look at that. that. Bacon, scoop. ham, grape, tomato, spinach with a chipotle oh, mayo, and we fashioned it into you. a club. And then wow. what's this one way in the back? That's the Monte Cristo. Ham, turkey, spinach, Swiss, raspberry sauce, oh powdered sugar. Yeah. That looks yeah. good. Now, right. What was that again? That's the Nutty Monkey. Mm. <laughs> Tell us where you're located again, sir. But step forward. Oh, I'm you, sorry. You're on yes. TV again. Don't give up on us. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. We have, we'll, now, we oh. eating. Yeah, That's for later. Well, you, you know what? I can walk at you, Bubba. I got this. You got so we're located 317 South Washington, downtown Royal Oak, mm. on 4th and Washington, right next to the train tracks. All right. And yes, I'm not going to make a crap. I dare all, right, all this. Do we have time to make one? Or we, no, we, we don't have any more time. You, all right. That's the way it works on TV. It's and like, don't forget our Parmesan garlic smoked salmon crepe. All right. Oh, we're giving yeah. away two oh, yeah. $25 gift cards to enter. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page. For contest rules, you can visit click on Detroit.com. Good to Thank see you. you. You're a star now. No, I'm, I, I appreciate hanging with the stars. Thanks We're a lot. Happy to mm. have you. Fantastic. We're Real. happy to have you. Great. Let's talk about it. Next on Live.